Welcome back. This is Still Breakfast Daily right here on CTTV. And of course, the show is interactive. Use the WhatsApp line 0550-585-832 to stay connected and of course to air your views and your concerns. And if you're texting us from outside of Ghana, use the country code plus 233. Use the hashtag Breakfast Daily as well across all social media platforms to join the conversation. Now, David, we've been speaking mm. about flooding at Agotimes, you mm. okay? We've also heard that there are certain levels of flooding at Agotime Ketwe. And this is mainly because the Choje River has overflowed its banks and the residents are calling for it to be dredged mm. because that hasn't been done as we've just established. If you're just joining us, we spoke to the assembly member for the yeah. area before we went on a break. And he tells us that this has been happening for about 20 years. Mm -hmm. And they've been calling for the Toje River to be dredged over and over again, year in, year out. It's not something that they, at the assembly level, can take care of because if you're, the numbers you're looking at in terms of, of money and what's not, the common fund cannot fund it, yeah. right? And so they've been calling out to higher authorities to make these things available. They've been putting it in their budgets, but nothing has happened. And so at some point, I do hope that we get to speak to the district chief executive, the DC of the area, um, and then also NADMO, because mm. another concern that the assembly member raised is that in all of this, over the past three years, they've not received any kind of relief items from NADMO. He himself, as an assembly member who is not on salary, has had to step in and put his own resources for us, get other community members who are able to support the people who have been affected by the flooding, by the overflowing of the banks of mm. the Toja River. Um, so, David, we have a yeah. real, real difficult situation on it. Look, so one day we'll be here and water will just engulf the whole of Ghana. Yeah, yeah no, the way we... The way Submerge we, us. The way we are approaching uh, these things, it's piecemeal. And it's, almost, it's like there's no... Um, sometimes, eh, um, Api, I, should, I have to be very, very candid on this matter. When you... When you read the scripture in Proverbs that mm -hmm. says, go by the house of the... He said, I walked by the house of a lazy man. How did you know the man was lazy? <laughs> the evidence was in the overgrown mm -hmm. weeds. So the idea was that if somebody's living here and the house is overgrown with weeds, the owner of the property, the person who lives in this property, must be a lazy person. Mm -hmm. Right, the evidence is in how things happen in the country. Mm -hmm. If certain decisions are not taken, it's a reflection on who you are, it's a reflection on your attitudes, your perspectives, the things that you think are important, and things that you don't think are important. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. When we are engulfed with rubbish, boiler, uh, plastic waste, we are engulfed. Listen, you should see. At our beachfronts, in the rainy seasons especially, it's crazy, mm -hmm. you know, but it's, it's a reflection of who we are as a people. We can say all the nice English you want to say, the reflection of who we are is evident. You can't run away from it. And so when, a, when rivers are overflowing, they are banks, not because of rain, but because of dredging. That's a problem. I mean, seriously. You see... A lot of the time, we we like to, and it's not something that we say. And we don't even have hurricanes in this country. Uh, you, uh, please. We don't even have tornadoes don't, in this country. Don't call things that <laughs> that we can't even. I mean, deal seriously. With, I beg you, don't call things that we can't deal with. Tornadoes, hurricanes, tsunamis. We don't have any of those, you know. But um, a lot of the time, we like to be. It's not something that we say overtly. Yeah. Or openly mm. but we like to be like oh you know what we have real bread and butter issues yeah. you know yeah and people are hungry there's poverty so let's deal with some of mm. these issues the other things can wait but the people who are hungry and are impoverished they're living in communities like this and the little that they are doing to make sure that you know you you are able to survive and make a living for yourself and your children and mm. your dependents then you, you take that away from them yeah. when you fail to do things like this. You see, and then you, and then you create more and more problems. Yeah. So more people become yeah. impoverished. More people become affected. But by, that's what's by going by to happen <laughs> if you... So, so you, 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 you stood there and said, oh, we, are, we don't have enough money. Uh, people are impoverished. And then you didn't dredge. Then what happens is that 
when you don't dredge now the 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 water comes through the community and impoverishes the people even further well let's find out from nadmo we have the nadmo uh, director for agotime ziope uh, he's joined us on the show this morning mr james brown good morning hello mr brown hello yes good morning sir uh, good morning. All right. Welcome to Breakfast Daily. Thank you. All right. So um, what is it that uh, NADMU is doing regarding the Agotime Ziope um, area as far as the overflowing of the banks of the river are concerned and the flooding that took place in that community? Okay. Thank you very much. And let's say... The recent rain that overflowed the river Doji and River Kwetwe. Uh, hello? I'm listening to you, sir. Yeah, I'm a pro river. Well, we have the two rivers in the district. Yes. One is the River and one is at Doji. Yes. Uh, during the recent uh, rainfall, we have affected the whole community, which now we'll go to the soil and do some estimates to assess the estimate on the ground. Okay. And so, uh, what are you doing? I mean, an estimate is an estimate. An estimate doesn't help the people. So exactly yes, what is NADMO doing to help the people? Yes, uh, I was speaking to you now. After the assessment, I wrote a report to the digital assembly and a copy to regional office at home. Okay. You haven't heard back from them yet? Not yet. When, when, was, when did you send this letter to them? The uh, report was sent to the region on th Thursday and then a copy to the chief executive on Friday. Okay. So we, we understand that uh, from the, as one of the assembly members, um, Seth Abugli, we were speaking to him this m earlier before we, you came on the line, and we understand that for the last few years, NADMO has not given anything at all, even though yearly um, the river overflows its banks. And this same scenario that we've experienced happens every year for the last few years. It's been happening. But NADMO yeah. has not um, been in a community. He even lamented that, that recently he went to a community and he was chased out because he's like a face of authority. And so you don't bring us anything. And so what are you doing here uh, this time around? And he was chased away. Thank you very much. What Arabo said about is is the truth. He told the truth. But well, anything is happening, we will write a report to the assembly and to register that nothing was given to to the victim. So when it happened this this year, you know, when we go there, I was also chased. It's canceled. So if you look at this... But, uh, but what seems to be the problem? Don't you have anything to give to the people? No, we don't have anything at all. So, my is to write a report to yeah. the assembly yeah. and submit to the region. And they really take it on. I see. And so, you, you, you typically receive from the regional head office, right? That's where... You... Exactly. So okay. From a national to region, because the region will call us for something, but they are not be calling us for anything. For okay. Them. I see. Okay. All right. Well, um, Mr. Brown, I, I do hope that uh, your fortunes turn around and that you receive something from uh, region um, who I suppose are going to also expect to receive from national as well. So... Um, the national will definitely hear this conversation that we are having here. So hopefully they will respond to you and you will get something to give to the people. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. And that is my prayer too. Okay. All right. So Thank you very much, sir. So uh, Mr. James Brown, um, who is the NADMO director for um, Agotime Ziope, uh, spoke with us. And um, he's also praying <laughs> that uh, national you will send something to Volta Regional for them to also disperse to Agotime Ziope.
happy. Uh -huh. I am all kinds of disappointed this so, morning. So I don't, I don't know. I can't even believe what I just heard. Maybe we need to speak to National and then possibly... Because the National always well. sounds very upbeat yeah. when you're talking to them, you know, and you always know. put a, sp a positive spin and on everything. Need to because I, I, I'm wondering if this is something that we've been experiencing for 20 years, yeah. right? Mm. Then you would earmark this area as a hotspot, especially when you know you haven't dredged. Yeah. So earmark it as a hotspot... We've had lots of rains this year. And mm. then I don't know what the offices or the spaces of the, of the uh, community directorate yeah. are like yeah. at, at Ag Agotime. But mm. I, I would like to believe that at least you have some mattresses, some yeah. canned food, something there because this is a hot spot. Yeah. And anything can happen at any time and the mm. people will need some kind of relief. Mm. So I'm surprised to hear that, okay, yeah, <laughs> it rained, it rained <laughs> a lot. <laughs> and then the, the rivers overflow their banks. Okay, yeah. And then we did an assessment. And then we wrote <laughs> and, and, and wrote a report. And we delivered the report here on, on Thursday. And then to here on Friday. And then we are waiting. Really? <laughs> and I don't blame yeah. Mr. James Brown. Because perhaps no, he, all he yeah, can do is to write the report. No. All he can do yeah. is wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. If he doesn't have the, the resources that he That's needs the to, to move, to yeah. act. Yeah. But then... If all he has to do is wait, what is regional doing? What is national doing? Mm. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And people are struggling. People mm. are suffering. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's is, a it, is it? So sometimes I, I feel as though we think that, oh, because these are people who don't have a voice. Yeah or don't have access to places where they will make noise and agitate and make us look bad, let's take our time and do it. That's how it feels. Yeah. If that's not what it is, then come and tell us that's not what it is. But really, that's what it looks like. That's how yeah. it feels. Yeah. And like we've been saying day in, day out, these are human beings. These are Ghanaians. Their only crime was that they were born as Ghanaians. Mm. Mm. Well, uh, talking about people who were born as Ghanaians, but um, are not experiencing the the pride and the, um, the, the, the wealth and riches of what we aspire to mm -hmm. as Ghanaians. They're, they're a piece of the national cake. Exactly. They're not experiencing <laughs> any of it.